Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, triangle uh, ABC fully confined uh, in a circle uh, with the center O, oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius uh, of this circle is uh, 8 uh, units. And moreover, this segment uh, AD equal to this segment uh, AO. Oh. In other words, A is the midpoint. And furthermore, uh, this uh, BD and uh, EF uh, are the diameters uh, of this uh, circle. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the radius of this given circle is 8. That means this OB is going to be 8. This uh, OF is going to be 8. This uh, OD is going to be 8. And finally, this uh, EO is going to be 8 units as well. And we also know that A is the midpoint. So that means this uh, AD is going to be 4 units. And likewise, this uh, AO is going to be four units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOE whose uh, side lengths uh, are uh, 8 and uh, 4. And now we are going to calculate uh, this side length uh, AE. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side C. I'm going to call this side A and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A is 4. So this becomes 4 square plus B is 8 square equal to C square. Let's go ahead and simplify. That's going to give us 16 plus uh, 64 equal to c square so therefore c square turns out to be 80 let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root so therefore c turns out to be equal to and the square root of 80 if we simplify this one it turns out to be 4 times square root of 5 so therefore c turns out to be equal to 4 times the square root of 5 units so therefore, our this uh, AE length uh, turns out to be 4 times square root of 5, as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two chords intersect in a circle, uh, then the product of the measures uh, of the segments of the chords are equal, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we got these uh, two chords, uh, AC and BD, and they intersect uh, over here such that uh, the product of these uh, two segments a b is going to be equal to the product of these uh, two segments uh, c d as you can see in this uh, equation and now let's revert our attention back to our uh, this given problem we got these two chords b d and uh, c e they intersect each other at this point uh, a and this uh, segment is uh, 4 this uh, segment uh, is going to be 8 plus 4 is going to be 12. This uh, segment uh, is 4 times square root of 5. And now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, segment uh, AC. Let me go ahead and label uh, this segment lowercase a, this uh, lowercase b, this uh, lowercase c, and this uh, lowercase d. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. A times uh, B in our case is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 5 equal to C is uh, 4 times D is 12. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4 times square root of 5. We can see this uh, cancel each other out. So we got A equals to here 4 and 4 uh, is gone. So therefore A value turns out to be 12 divided by square root of uh, 5. So that's our this uh, AC length uh, turns out to be 12 divided by square root of 5 as you can see over here. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, 
CP on this uh, diameter BD and as a result we got this uh, right triangle uh, CPA and now let's focus on these uh, two right triangles this uh, triangle uh, CPA and this another right triangle uh, AOE and now we can see that uh, these two right triangles uh, triangle CPA and the other triangle AOE are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem since uh, these uh, two angles are uh, vertical angles this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, we have a ratio of uh, PA and uh, CP let me write down PA divided by CP is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, AO and uh, OE, let me write down AO divided by OE and now we can see our uh, OA length uh, is uh, 4 and OE length uh, is uh, 8 as you can see in this uh, next step and now 4 uh, divided by 8 could be reduced to 1 uh, divided by 2 so therefore we can write uh, PA divided by CP turns out to be 1 uh, divided by 2 so therefore we can see that we have a ratio of these uh, PA over CP equals to 1 uh, divided by 2 so therefore we can uh, write uh, PA equals to 1 times some constant K and uh, CP is going to be 2 times some constant K as well so therefore we can see that our this uh, PA length uh, turns out to be 1 times k and this uh, CP length uh, is uh, 2 times k and here's our next step let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, CPA and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to solve for uh, k value and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square let me call this longest leg as our side uh, c I'm gonna call uh, this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case uh, 1 times uh, k whole uh, square b is uh, 2 times uh, k whole uh, square equal to c in our case is uh, 12 uh, divided by square root of 5 whole uh, square so let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us uh, 1k square plus 4k square equals to 144 divided by 5 and the left hand side that's going to become 5k square equals to 144 divided by 5 and now let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 fifth to isolate k square and we can see this 5 and 1 fifth is gone so therefore uh, our k square turns out to be equal to 144 divided by 25 let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore our k value turns out to be 12 divided by 5 units so therefore our this uh, PA length which is 1 times K is going to be 1 times uh, 12 divided by 5 is going to give us uh, 12 divided by 5 units and likewise uh, this uh, CP length uh, is going to be 2 times K means we're going to multiply 2 times uh, 12 divided by 5 and that is going to give us 24 uh, divided by 5 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, ABC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and we can see the base uh, of this green shaded triangle is going to be 4 plus 8 uh, is going to give us uh, 12 uh, units and the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, is going to be CP which is uh, 24 uh, divided by 5 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the green triangle 
area is going to be a half times our base is 12 and our height of this triangle is 24 divided by 5 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us 144 divided by 5 and that is the area of this green shaded triangle and if we simplify the right hand side area of this green shaded triangle turns out to be 28.8 square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 28.8 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.